Hey guys, it's Mr. Danish, and today we're going to take a look at how to download and install the Age of Chivalry mod pack for Age of Empires. Uh, it's a total conversion, which means that it's um, every civilization has been um, modified in some way, uh, and it's actually the first of its kind. So it's going to be really interesting to see how it's like. Uh, remember, before you do um, the installation, uh, make sure you have uh, taken a backup of your important files in um, in uh, H vampires. It could be your safe games or your scenarios, and um, also uh, make sure you have the newest patch. It's called one point uh, zero C. So um, I think it's the newest one as well. So just make sure your game is up to date. Anyway, let's start um, getting it and um, installing it. Uh, first off, head to your browser and um, then go to Google and type in Age of Chivalry and write Age of Empires. Uh, if you don't do that, you'll get to um, Google will show you a link to another game that's also called Age of Chivalry, but it's developed for the Source Engine, which means it's a first-person shooter, or it's a first-person game at least. Uh, it's like uh, Counter Strike and uh, Team Fortress 2. I've n not tried it, but you can do it if you feel like it. Anyway, just hit the Google button or enter, and um, then uh, the first link is the one you will have to click. It's on Age of King 7, so it's a site where we've, uh, we have uh, been for before. So once it's loaded, you will uh, see some pictures, and um, this is the official site really that uh, explains everything, uh, what's new, and there's some links here in the bottom where, uh, but, uh, bottom, sorry, uh, where you can um, see uh, more details and such. So if you feel like it, just uh, read all this and um, yeah, when you're done, click download now. And then you'll get to this page where I think it says more or less the same uh stuff as on the other side. So um and there's some more pictures. Anyway, um you can read this as well. And uh before we download it, uh, all credit goes to uh Core Bush and Andrew Dunn. They made a uh you know a lot of work on this uh, mod pack, so I really ad admire them, and uh, I think they did a great job. Uh, just uh, you know, to make a total conversion, I haven't tried it yet, but you know, making a total conversion of a so big uh, game like Age of Empires is um, it takes a lot of time. So I think they have done a great job just by doing it. Anyway, um, then click this one that says uh, download file it will direct you to this page where something will pop down and when it's down right click and say save file it's in Danish but it says save file so click that one and wait and this one says uh, save so click that one and choose your location I've already uh, downloaded it so I'll just replace it take some time and um, when you're done uh, downloading you have to click this one that says open folder and uh, you'll see you have downloaded a, a zip file to extract it right click and says uh, click the one that says extract um, or extract all or something click that one and uh, choose a destination to um, where the files uh, should be extracted. I'll just uh, choose the same um, file uh, folder as um, the one where the zip file is. So, and uh, since I already uh, got it, I'll just copy and replace. It doesn't take a long time. And then you get to this, um, this, uh, or this. This is what's inside the zip file. It's uh, an uh, readme and uh, some uh, information about the civilizations. Uh, what's new and such and then there's uh, this auto installer so that's actually pretty simple but um, auto installer so you just have to double click it and approve and then you have to click next and read all this before you click I agree I've done it uh, before so I'm not going to read it now but I, I did it before actually and then uh, hit the agree button and uh, this you can um, you'll have to choose your default uh, default um, Age of Empires 2 directory as it says uh, mine is not uh, where it usually is so 
I'll just change it really quick. That's basically it. And um, then you just uh, click this button that says install and you have installed it more or less. As you can see it doesn't take a lot of time. And then it, def it deletes all the uh, old files. So make sure to, to uh, remember and to make that uh, backup. And then click next and click finish. And uh, that's basically it. You've uh, successfully um, downloaded and installed the HF um, Chivalry, uh, Chivalry, sorry, um, mod pack. And as you um, can see, there's already a um, shortcut on the desktop. So I'm going to play it now, and I hope you will do as well. Um, thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you um, you enjoyed, <laughs> and uh, yeah, take care, guys. See ya.